if you don't have an LG battery for your energy storage, then actually this recall may still apply to you because many companies worldwide rebrand their batteries that are actually using LG batteries and call them something else. There has been a recall though, a pretty urgent one, asking people who have a storage battery to basically turn it off immediately because they are prone to fires. Now, when I say they're prone to fires, unfortunately, this type of battery chemistry and this type of battery made by LG Energy Solutions is extremely prone to fires. So this is a very serious warning. There has been many fires involving these batteries and it's pretty well urgent that you stop using it and make sure you contact the company that you got it from in order to get a replacement. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I reported on this same issue last year. Unbelievable. I don't know how LG is still in business. I mean, their EVs, more recalls using for their batteries in their EVs, Bolt EV, Bolt EUV, there's so many recalls for LG Energy Solutions batteries, but the recalls haven't just applied to their electric cars. They've also applied to their home batteries, to their commercial business batteries, which have unfortunately been the cause of thousands of fires at residential locations. So like I said, this actually happened last year and there was a recall, but it's happened again. There's another recall this year. There is an urgent recall on LG solar storage system batteries, but a lot of them aren't brand as LG. So you might think, oh no, I'm fine. It's, I don't have an LG battery, but make sure you check who actually manufactures your cells. All Aussie households and a couple of other countries as well, I believe, with a solar storage system are being urged to check if their systems have had a recall on the batteries or if their batteries are manufactured, the cells are manufactured by LG Energy Solutions, who are a South Korean battery manufacturer, but they do make batteries now in the United States and China as well. Residents who find the battery should switch off affected batteries immediately, say, uh, basically fire brigades and governments. The faulty batteries, which may be branded LG or Solar X or Opal or Red Earth or Iguana, or VATA can cause serious risk of injury or death due to the affected batteries overheating and causing a fire. Now keep in mind, some of these companies, including VATA, also make lithium ion batteries for your car. The 12 volt battery you may use for your internal combustion engine vehicle, it may be a lithium one. Like you, whoever you bought the car from might have replaced it with a lithium battery, that's possible, and those have been recalled as well. It is critically important that anyone with a solar energy storage system checks their battery serial number as this recall has been updated to include new models, affected systems and dates of manufacture, said the ACCC Deputy Chair Katrina Lowe. Even if you don't have an LG branded solar storage system, you may still have an LG branded battery that has been recalled. You just don't know that it is actually LG. For peace of mind, check your system again and turn off your battery straight away if it has been recalled. You might be thinking, oh, no, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the, the risk of fire is low. Actually, it's not. There's been hundreds of fires with these batteries. All consumers with affected LG batteries are being told to switch off their solar systems immediately, not just the battery, but also the entire system and to keep it switched off until they've either been refunded. This is what I would be doing, guys. I wouldn't be asking for a replacement. There's been too many problems with these batteries. I'd be asking for your money back. Get a battery, an energy storage battery from someone else, whether that's BYD, Tesla, or CATL, other manufacturers, aim to get an LFP cells battery pack because they last longer and they're much less prone to fires. Please put your safety first and follow through this important advice to switch off, said the Australian government. LG say they will com compensate consumers who are out of pocket on their electricity bills as a result of switching off and not being able to use their battery. Consumers with affected batteries should contact LG or Solar X to arrange remediation of the battery, which could include a free battery replacement or a software update or refund. A software update, guys, if you're 
don't don't accept that if if you're one of the consumers with these now thousands and thousands of people have bought these so many people will be affected by this but don't just accept a software update that has that they've tried this in the past it didn't work they did this with some gm vehicles with lg batteries it didn't work so yeah i wouldn't go that route. i wouldn't be accepting that personally so what do you do next well consumers with affected lg batteries are urged to register their details with lg to receive free replacement refund or software update while all affected batteries should be immediately turned off, some will be directly replaced or fully refunded. Other affected LG batteries will receive a software update, which will shut down batteries at risk of overheating, and any LG battery shut down by the software will be replaced or refunded. LG will advise consumers of which remedy applies to their affected LG battery. Obviously, LG are going to try and get out of this situation with as little cost involved as they can. Keep in mind, the recall with General Motors for LG battery packs in the Bolt and the Bolt EUV cost the company over $1 billion. That's only that recall. That doesn't include all the other recalls they've had for their batteries, which have cost them billions of dollars. LG, though, will provide financial compensation, they say, to consumers who have higher electricity bills as a result of not being able to use their batteries. Now, hopefully you weren't one of the people who has had a fire at your home. Um, I don't know why, but the media hasn't really reported on this. There's been hundreds of fires in people's homes as a result of these faulty battery packs. And actually, I have to admit this stuff does actually quite annoy me because it gives batteries a bad name. There's many companies worldwide that make batteries that are incredibly unlikely for home storage or EVs to catch fire. LG is simply giving us a bad name because they're basically the bad apple in what is really primarily a good bunch. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.